Back in the book segment tonight, Waters World, last Thursday night in Brooklyn, New York. A bunch of people were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. They include Linda Ronstadt, Hall & Oates, Cat Stevens. So we sent Waters out there to try to find out why many pop stars are liberal and country stars conservative. Seems like a lot of country music's more conservative, but a lot of the pop rock is more liberal. Mm. Do you understand why that is? Well, I think it's about the military industrial complex. <laughs> I don't care what you what? There are certainly some liberal country groups, and there are also some conservative rock groups as well. Can you guys make sense of I that? I have no for idea me? what you're talking about. <laughs> I think, that, I think that what is important in music is that people are honest. I think there's a lot more people straddling different political views and sharing I them. I never believed that musicians should get involved with politics. I want the best for humankind. That's where I stand. I'm so do I. I'm a big pro-humankind person. Oh, boy, you're, you're hilarious, my friend. What issues do you care about right now in this country? Is anything bothering you? Uh, the music journalism on Fox. <laughs> oh, you want to fight? You want to fight? Part of what's happening in, in the media and that it's very divided now. I feel like uh, the system right now is, is heavily broken and there's got to be a way to get people to work together again. It'd be nice to have an, uh, an election instead of an auction. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Do you think money is a major problem in politics? You think? The biggest problem with this country right now is how people, how addicts and alcoholics are treated. Alcoholism and drug addiction is a disease and it should be treated that way, just like cancer. Tell me about that speech. I mean, it's already got the Fox News feel to it, this interview, <laughs> which is awesome because it's a vibe. You can feel, you can taste the vibe. I'm just messing with you, Sasquatch. Let's get it out. Are you a big O'Reilly Factor fan? I've never seen his show. Shocking. Are you mocking me? You watch a lot of Fox News? I do, yeah, and I don't share the politics, but I know you try and get both sides sometimes, but... All the time. But it is, but it is, it comes over uh, sometimes as, as one-sided to me. I don't even watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Except Fox, right? Yeah, occasionally. <laughs> Anything you want to say to Bill O'Reilly? You ever watch The Factor? To who? This is going to be a disaster, isn't it? <laughs> Not for you. What the hell is the world coming to? All right, uh, here's Waters. Who is mean to you? Uh, well, Michael Stipe preemptively said he would not do Fox News before we even got what there. What group is he in again? I think Foreigner, REM, or something. something. REM, I have no yeah. idea. And then uh, when we were interviewing Sheryl Crow and Bonnie Raitt, I mm -hmm. asked him about Hillary. Are you excited? And then all hell broke loose. And we're, we're not doing political questions. And then when the interview ended, they went out and said, this is an ambush. This is unacceptable. Just because you asked him about Just because they asked one political question. Yeah. Very upset about that. Uh, who else? Uh, Hall and Oates did not want to do an interview with no. me, which was surprising. Surprising because I thought you know they no, like the fact I like all of I do too. I'm surprised John Oates didn't wouldn't do it. Yeah, I'm surprised. A lot of people just did not want to talk to Fox News. Carrie Underwood yeah. only did Access Hollywood. She did not do Fox News. Did she? Did she say she wasn't going to do? Well, I was told that everybody was going to do the round robin one on ones, right. and then when we got to. Game time, no one really wanted to so do Carrie it. Carrie Underwood, huh? Yeah. That's so, you know, I was disappointed because I'm a fan of hers, too. Yeah. Um, Bruce Springsteen and Cat Stevens blew off all of the media. And I had a great question for Yusef Islam. I was going to say... Is he, Kat, is he still a Muslim? Yeah, he's a still a Muslim. Yeah. He actually sang fantastic. His voice yeah. sounds spectacular. I was going to say, you know, you're a very high-profile convert to Islam. Right. You know, there's a lot of terrorism coming out of that neck of the woods. What happened to the peace train? Where'd it go? Yeah, you can't indict all Muslims, though, but he wouldn't talk to anybody. He didn't right? do anything. And no. Springsteen, he's too big. He's right? too big. He too, just blew off everybody. Especially yeah. for you. If I were there. Right? Yeah. Well, you might have had a different entourage. Yeah. No. All right, Waters. Very good. Thank you.